This is Matrix Lord 212, and I really want to talk to Doctor Who fans right now because I want some answers, Doctor Who fans, Whovians. Just because you like a showrunner doesn't mean you lie for a showrunner, you have amnesia, and you basically let, like, all the, this evidence get thrown under the rug. And I'm going to say this right now. Regardless of whether you like Chibnall or not, or you love Chibnall or not, the fact that a lot of even YouTubers are having amnesia where they reviewed the freaking episodes and you hear them freaking say that the, that the Gallifrey escaped the pocket universe is ridiculous. You have flat out YouTubers flat out saying for Capaldi's era when they're reviewing the episodes that... The, the Gallifrey escaped the Pocket Universe. And nobody, nobody, none of them want to bring that up. It is absurd. So, like, the fact that, I mean, has anybody watched Doctor Who really? Or did they just, like, review it and forget it? Because, and I'm not, be, I'm not trying to be sarcastic, but, and this is not for everyone. Okay, and I'm not bashing, but I want answers, okay? And if I have to explain it, I'll explain it. But basically, it goes like this, right? Gallifrey was time-locked with the Time War, okay? Once the Time War was over, Gallifrey is not time-locked anymore, right? There was a lot of factors to do with the time-lock that things would be turned off so people could get in, all right? And unfortunately, that's a whole nother video that I have to explain that because we're going to get off topic. Anyway, the doctor, the doctors saved Gallifrey in the 50th day of the doctor. The general had to deal with, and the war council had to deal with the doctor because... The High Council just dealt with the 10th, trying to get Gallifrey to manifest on Earth, and then it was sent back, and the High Council was dealing with the Master blowing up the friggin' throne rooms. So they were indisposed, because this was minutes after. So the Doctor had to deal with the War Council on Gallifrey with the War Doctor, the 10th Doctor, the 11th Doctor. While, minutes later, in another part of Gallifrey, the High Council's dealing with the Master, returning with them, blowing it up, healing him, giving him a TARDIS, sending him on his way, John Sims' Master, okay? Are we following? Meaning, the Master went back with Rassilon at the end of time into wherever Gallifrey was, and then the Doctor put Gallifrey in the pocket universe, okay, where probably by that time, it wasn't five minutes that Rassilon battled the Master and sent him on his way and healed him. It didn't happen for five minutes. It happened for a while that they're battling while the time was going on, then coming to a conclusion, then healing him, then giving him a TARDIS, then sending him on his way. It didn't happen in five minutes. So the Master was already in the pocket universe with Gallifrey, knowing that Gallifrey was in the pocket universe when they sent him on his way. All right? The General basically said that if you put us in the pocket universe, we will be defenseless, we'll be helpless, we'll be this, we'll be that. So right there, they were saying, basically, if you paid attention... All right, you're going to put us there. We got to find a way out of the pocket universe or we're going to be dead. All right? So the the whole goal was for Gallifrey, once they were put in there and saved, to get the F out of the pocket universe. Because, again, you did it as a temporary save, but now bad things would happen if they stayed in there. Okay? And the doctor left it up to them to get out of there. All right? Now, the next episode, after the 50th, Time of the Doctor, right? 
The Daleks flat out found out that Gallifrey escaped. There's a crack. They think it's Gallifrey. And they just... The Doctor stays on Trenza War and ages like a thousand years just to protect Gallifrey. Did you guys forget this? Did you forget the whole point? That he don't want them to find out Gallifrey. They didn't want them to find their location. He didn't talk to the cracks because he knew that was Gallifrey. And he knew that the Daleks would go after him. He's protecting his own people. Did anybody forget that? He risked his incarnation, growing old and dying to protect Gallifrey. And the Time Lords, once they found out that this was the doctor, the proper doctor, the proper time stream, because they talked to Clara, they said, okay, that's him. Didn't even really need his name. They know. They gave him a new set of regenerations. To, and he said, love from Gallifrey, boys. Remember that? So the Daleks didn't find out the Time Lord's lo location. The Time Lords helped the Doctor, and the Doctor blew their ass up. Now you go to friggin' Series 8. Where Missy, the incarnation after John Sim, okay, basically said... She had Time Lord technology. So she went back to Gallifrey. And she knows that it escaped the pocket universe. And she used some technology to, to create the Nethersphere. And she gives him the coordinates. And it's the wrong coordinates. And he smashes the computer. Remember that? And then he lies to Clara. And he says he found Gallifrey. And she lies to him. So like. Then we have series 9. And like. How many times are they going to say it? That they escaped the pocket universe. They said it in 8. They said it in 9. The general was like, he told them where, he told the doctor where they are. You're not in a pocket universe at the end of time. No. You're out of the effing pocket universe. Okay? So, first of all, if they're still in the pocket universe, then where did Rassilon go? Because... You know, they're in the universe. They're at the end of the time continuum. At the end of time. At the end of the universe. Where there's like a star system left or two. Okay. Basically where the 10th Doctor was with Martha, with Captain Jack. Where there's a toggle fane and the place there where there was like one planet left. Right. They're at the end of time. Basically where Capaldi was with Clara, with Orson Pink, where there was like one planet or whatever, right? And listen, they're at the end of the freaking universe. End of the freaking universe. Where Shilda is. Okay? The end. Gallifrey Hellbent flat out said they are at the end of the universe, at the end of time, the last star system. The general told the doctor this. Then the doctor talked to Clara about this. Why are you guys ignoring this? They're not in the effing pocket universe anymore. They basically spelled it out for you. For two series. Actually more than two series. A special and two series. They're out of the damn pocket universe. Chimno just read the cliff notes. He saw the 50th. That was it. I mean, he didn't see the whole damn series of Series 8, Series 9. I bet you he didn't. He probably just saw clips on YouTube. No, I'm assuming that. But obviously, he didn't see how Ben's. He didn't see some of the stuff Moffat's done. How many series are you going to explain it? So listen to me what I'm telling you, right? I'm not trying to say to hate Chibnall. I'm not trying to say to love Chibnall. But you can't ignore the facts. Don't ignore the facts. If you're a review person and you review freaking Hellbent and you're like, oh, Gallifrey's out of the pocket universe at the end of time. Then when this when this episode happens, why are you lying like they're still in the pocket universe? Do you have amnesia from your own videos? Jesus. And everybody else, too. Bunch of phony balonies. You reviewed the freaking episodes where they flat out... And you're saying it yourself. Oh, in this episode, Gallifrey escaped the pocket universe until you had the time. So why don't you watch your own shit? 
My God. Do you create a fake campaign? Like, just go along with shit? I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, to hate on Spyfall Part 2, but Jesus Christ. Like, don't have amnesia. That's not... I mean, I can't believe these Whovians. The amnesia. You don't have regeneration energy. You're not within a certain cycle where you regenerate the cycle that you forget. Jesus. Go to your own channel and watch your own videos. God. You can love Chibnall, but... You don't have to be 100% licking him and agreeing with everything he says unless you're looking for an interview or your job at BBC. All right, take care. Bye for now.